Next, we are going to draw perspective projection of a square pyramid. The base edge of the square pyramid is given. It is 40 mm. Height is given 70 mm, and uh, it is resting on its base on the ground with one base edge parallel to picture plane and 30 mm behind picture plane. Okay. The square pyramid is resting on its base on the ground with one base edge parallel to picture plane and 30 mm behind picture plane. Fine. The position of station point is given. It is 80 mm in front of picture plane, 90 mm above the ground, and it is specified that the axis of the pyramid is 50 mm to the left of the station point. Axis is 50 mm to the left of the station point. Assume the station point is standing here. Okay. The axis should be to on its left side. So. When we are marking it, you have to mark it towards the right. Then only will the axis will come to the left of the station point. Okay. So as usual, we will be drawing the top view here. Project all the points. You will be getting the front view here. In top view, we will be having points A, B, C, D, and O. You can draw these land edges also. In front view, we will be having A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, O dash. And as usual, we will be identifying the position of S P and S P dash. Join all the points in top view to S P. Join all the points in front view towards SP dash. Okay, and as usual, we will be projecting the points that is touching the picture plane. Make sure you are joining O also to SP and O dash also to SP dash. Now project all the points that is touching picture plane towards front view. Okay, this point is lying on O uh, B, so it has to lie on the line of B dash. We will be getting somewhere here. This will be capital B. Then this point is on A, so it should lie on A. So here we'll be getting somewhere here we'll be getting capital A. Then this point is lying on C, so it has to lie on C. Here we'll be getting capital C, and this is lie on D, so it has to lie on D. In front view, we'll be getting capital D. Okay. Capital A, B, C, D. When you are join, when you are getting these points, make sure B, C, and A, D should lie on a same horizontal line. Since here also B, C, and A, D are on a same horizontal line, here also B, C, and A, D should lie on a same horizontal line. Next, we have to point project O. Okay, O is touching here. You project it downwards. We will be getting a point here. O. Okay. So A, B, C, D, and O. As usual, join the outermost points first. Outermost lines will be visible. So first, I'll be starting with O B, then I'll be joining it to O D. Okay, that also will be visible since it is outermost. Then I'll be joining it to O C visible. Then I'll be joining it to B C visible. This much edges will be visible. Okay, now the base edges. Just look at the base edges A B and A D. If the observer is standing viewing from here, edge A B and A D will be invisible for him. So A B will be dotted. Similarly, A D also will be dotted, and two more slant edges are there, O A and O C. If he is viewing from here, O C will be visible, O A will be invisible. So O A will be invisible like this, and O C will be visible like this. Okay, we'll be getting our perspective of a square pyramid like this. Okay.